All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And today we're looking at how to maintain a level while you're drilling. I, man, this is tough. This is tough and there's no easy solution behind it. You, it. It's really tricky to maintain your level. This is what I do. It might not be the best way. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, let's talk about the drill and trying to keep it level. So let's understand first how the drill works. When you get in your vehicle and you see the reticle for the drill, you'll notice a level on the front of the vehicle. That level is changed by that red bar and it's controlled by the pitch of your mouse. So by moving your mouse up, moving the camera up, moving the camera down, will change the level of that pitch. Now there is a spot in the middle where it kind of snaps and you then have to you know kind of radically move the camera to be able to go up and down this is level so now what does level actually mean level means whatever polygon you happen to be on so you can see the angle of my vehicle is slightly upwards it's because these polygons down here are going up this hill but if we want to actually stay at a level surface let's say we want to eat some of this mountain up i want to kind of just chew away at this mountain so i can gather some of the the soil from this this mountain so how would i go about doing that well i think the most effective way is first to flatten an area with using the augment mod what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to flatten an area that your vehicle can sit on this is going to be your starting point let's say here and i'm going to flatten that down now you can see this is flat, which was made by the augment mod. And once you have a flat surface, remove your augment mod and then just control and flatten this area out based off of what your augment mod had already defined for you as flat. It doesn't matter what vehicle you're using, just make sure that you flatten out an area that's big enough for the vehicle to sit on. And it doesn't matter if you have a trailer or not, just make sure your vehicle is sitting on that flat area. Now, now this is the area it's going to sample. Now you're gonna to need to then turn around and make sure that your level is flat. So you can see that my level is flat. This is where it gets tricky. How to control the vehicle without moving the angle of the drill. The best thing I could recommend for you guys is kind of change the view so that you have a side view, someone would have a side view, and then start digging. Once you turn on your digger, you can see that it's maintaining that flat angle that you created with the augment mod and just start moving forward move your vehicle around now this is where it gets really tricky because you don't want to change the camera angle at all you want to maintain the same level camera angle if you do happen to change the camera angle try to make sure you turn off your drill before you change the camera angle because once you change that that angle and that level changes your drill is going to start disintegrating whatever however your your level is set and then you want to slowly move forward i know that there's people out there to say oh you can fill these up so quickly just by running through this really fast problem with that is once you start running through really fast there's a greater chance that your angle of cut is going to change now you might have to get out from time to time and look at your initial cutting plane and see if your angle has changed any it looks like i've started to slope down so start leveling off again if it's sloped down you'll see that up oh, it actually did start cutting downward somewhere i changed the level of my cut just flatten off a big area and back up your vehicle you're probably at this point going to have to go back and backfill just to make sure that you maintain that first initial leveling just make sure it's nice and smooth so your vehicle doesn't pick up from another different polygon and then start the process again. But you could see that even though I was level, I started to dig slightly downward. I believe that has to do with, you know, the position in which the vehicle was. I was pulling a trailer. Maybe when the trailer got up onto this, this plateau that I created, it kind of pushed the, the drill down. I'm not entirely sure what causes that problem, but you do go off of your initial cut. You have to go back and keep fixing your driving ground. Make sure you maintain whatever that polygon was that you first started drilling on. 
You know, as you're driving forward, the camera angle is going to change. I suggest turning off the drill, moving your camera angle, make sure you still maintain that level on the drill, and then moving forward again. Again, if the camera angle changes to the forward position, hold down your mouse button and rotate. Try not to go up and down. And just continue to keep moving forward. Now, by no means is this a perfect process, but it's one that I seem to find that works the best. I mean, you're going to have to keep getting out and sampling the ground and making sure that you don't change the polygon that the drill is sampling uh, and causing you to slope down even just very so slightly. It's going to be hard to notice that you've changed your elevation, but you can see here as an example. I have slightly changed my elevation. For some reason, it sampled a different polygon and now I'm starting to slope downward. You just got to get out and fix it. You know, if you don't care about your surface of your planet and making flat planes, then you can just turn your drill on and start running forward. This is probably a great way to collect soil. I I find it pretty destructive because that variation of changing of the angles as you drive over them will easily cause you to start digging down. As you can see, I ran over a little hill and now I'm starting to dig really deep into the surface. Now this video wasn't about soil collecting. It's about how to keep your drill as flat as humanly possible. When you sample an angle, how to maintain that angle without going up or down. A lot of people say, how do you not drill into a cave or how do you maintain the level? You know, you just have to really watch where that level is and, and not go fast because going fast really causes a problem. But there was a lot of people that were looking at my soil collecting video and saying I didn't show the best way to collect soil. I, I went very slowly when you can go through a mountain quickly and just get a ton of soil. I'm going to do that for you. But before I did that, I did decide to level off an area. And that was mainly because I want to try to maintain this as I run through this mountain. So there is a better way to collect soil extremely fast. And that's just to go full flat out through a mountain. I'm going to show this to you now just because, uh, like I said, I wanted to show it to you because people were asking for it. But this, again, is not part of what I'm trying to show in this video. It is trying to maintain flat. And I did level out this area just specifically so I can try to maintain flat. Now, you're going to run across obstacles. There's nothing you can do about the obstacles. You're just going to have to wait for them to despawn. So once they despawn, then you can just go full flat out through the mountain and hope that you don't run across the cave to collect your soil and this will collect soil extremely fast I think I've already filled up almost all of my canisters of course I didn't maintain the level I'm actually starting to go down and it's gonna cause a problem because there is a cave system that I was just about to fall into you're gonna have to be careful being inside of a cave with uh, this kind of drill system, it's easy to try to change the angle of your camera so that you can see, and then you'll wind up changing the angle of the drill and you'll start going down. All right, that was my video on how to maintain level while you're drilling. Pretty tough, right? Well, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. And if you want to follow me on my social media, all of my links are in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.